Oh, I'm honored. I'm so happy to, uh, to to be a part of this. You know, I really am, I'm grateful to Jerome and Sandrine and the entire team uh, for putting me on the committee. Uh, God, it's so cool. We watched two films today already, and I'm looking forward to seeing the six other ones and deliberating with everybody. It's fresh. It's exciting. We're all having a great time. And Well, I think the world is ever-changing. It's constantly evolving, and... Uh, the younger generation will always have fresh eyes on a world because they grew up in that world. They weren't necessarily just spectating it. And um, they, bring, they bring new ideas in such a fantastic way. So it's our job as artists, I think, to uplift those voices, uplift those people and their perspectives um, as they grow up. So uh, I think it's, it's, it's paramount. I think that when the filmmaker has a very clear vision and they're able to explain that vision uh, as they choose to, as they want to, exactly as they want to, I think that's something that I'm really attracted to. I'm also uh, a sucker for just awesome concepts, you know, like Tenet using the idea of reversing an object's entropy to do time travel. I just like, so if you were to say, oh, this movie's about that, I'm like, I'm in. I'm gonna like it no matter what. And I think maybe that's maybe not for the, the best for me. It's because it's just concept based. But, you know, um, yeah, I think that's, that makes a great movie is someone that can really ground the story and, and bring it to the audience in a way that, that, at the very least, even if they don't understand it, it's a clear vision. God, there's so many different ways to do it. And something that I've learned is that every single person judges in a different way. They hold different values true to themselves and they appreciate different aspects of the movie, like whether it's visual, whether it's the story, whether it's certain characters and acting, whether, you know, it could be, it could be so many different things, like camera movements, how they shot it. So it's interesting to see that so many people have different reasons why they love film and they value certain things higher or lower than others. So getting together in a room afterwards and discussing all of these things and seeing how other people look at film is it's really, really engaging for me. It's actually my favorite part of doing this. Yeah, I think, I think really put, placing the highlight on younger voices, I hope to see some films that change the way that I look at the world. That's what I really want to see and that's, you know, that's, that's an expectation that I've like secretly set, you know, and kind of soft set in, in my own heart. Um, uh, and also just like the expectation of, of being able to be in such great company with such people that love film so much. Um, it's something that I just, I, I love being able to sit down and converse and get to know everybody. So, I mean, as far as the festival goes, I, I'm sure it will continue to go for a very long time. And the fact that this is the first one and I have the honor of being here kind of blows my mind. So <laughs> I'm like over the moon. I haven't really been watching a lot of things in the last three months, but I would say over the course of my life, <laughs> movies that I, I just love so much are, are kind of wacky, but, but just like really profound and dark. Um, you know, anything by Gaspar Noé. Um, I love Dogtooth. That movie is so, so sick. Ad Astra, like I said, Tenet. Of course, anything that Nolan does is amazing. Um, uh, yeah, Christopher Borgley, I'm really excited about him. 